back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. We're going to have some fun with a brand new style by Ellen Villa for fall 2020. It's called Disco. We're going to do some comparisons and have a long discussion about this beautiful new curly do coming up. You all know me by now enough to know that I have this affinity for curl curl of all types I don't discriminate but I especially love those wild kinky curly styles and, and that's really why I've enjoyed Ellen Villa's curly styles throughout the years Ellen Villa has a special relationship with curl they're definitely not afraid of it they have everything from a soft, gentle wave to something wild and big and Afro-like. And that's what I really love about that. And I featured a lot of Ellen Villa styles in my Curly Wig series. Um, if you haven't caught that, you want to be sure to because it talks about how to work with the curls, make them presentable, and also how to maintain and care for them. So when I first started to wear wigs and started to branch out and really explore, I fell in love with a short little curly style by Ellen Villa. Some of you may remember this. It was called Stream. <laughs> and it was a short, voluminous, kinky, curly style. Um, couldn't get enough of it, had it in several colors. It wasn't long after that 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 particular style was canceled. It broke my heart. And then they came out with Wiki. And I liked Wiki just as well, if not more. Um, because I could really embrace that really kinky, big curly style. And I have that in several colors. Well, just recently this year, they, they canceled, discontinued that style. And then they came out with a style that I adored with big, bouncy, fully formed ringlets. It was called Jamila. Now, Jamila came and went and then came back. And so Jamila was actually called Jamila High when it first came out. Um, and then it went away for a while and it returned as Jamila Plus. Do you remember when this happened? And to this day, I still don't know exactly what the difference between the two was. So um, the Jamila Plus is still around today. And I did, again, feature that in my curl series. And then about two years after that, then we got our Storyville. And a lot of you out there that uh, really embrace the 70s, I think are going to absolutely love it and have to have this in your wig wardrobe. Let's take a look. So this is disco, right? This style was no doubt inspired by those crazy 70s, don't you think? <laughs> It's a you know, more of a uniform curl pattern, whereas on Storyville, you can get some that are kind of in an S pattern, zigzag, some that are bigger, uh, more fully formed. There's more variability in, this, in, the, uh, in the curl pattern on Storyville, but they're both very much the same in terms of, I would say, density and overall style. I think both of these kind of were inspired by that same era. So it's sort of a blunt cut design, meaning there's very limited layering all the way around. But what you're going to see here is a bang. Yes, Disco has a bang. And it's very appropriate for the bang uh, to take us back to that decade. So the bang is about five and a half inches. And again, I think that bang is more bluntly cut as well. So it's five and a half inches and you'll see where it just sort of, that layer sort of abruptly stops and then it falls into its longest length here on the sides. Now from the crown down, it's about 12 inches, between 12 and 13. So it's a little bit shorter than my Storyville. It's just because I've always had curl like this. Um, you only see me now with maybe an inch of hair all over my head and it hasn't started to blossom into this kind of curl. But if I could grow hair, it would look just like these styles. And so maybe that's why I have such an affinity for them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and change into disco. So what do you think? It's 1970 something, we're headed out to the club, 
We're gonna do some Saturday Night Fever. We're gonna listen to disco all night long. We're going to talk about our favorite bands. We're gonna talk about the Bee Gees. Andy Gibb was my absolute crush in school, I have to admit, and I love this era. And then there's, oh my gosh, you've got, you've got ABBA, you've got Donna Summers, and let's not forget my absolute favorite right out of this era, and that's Blondie, Deb Harry. <laughs> I just, it just takes me back. I can remember watching Deb Harry sing Heart of Glass, um, Blondie. She, saw, she sang Heart of Glass in Dick Clark's 1979 New Year's Rockin' Eve, and I mean, I could not wait. I had my popcorn and my cola, and I sat with friends, and we just loved her. I still love her to this day, cannot get enough. Um, I just have a little bit of obsession. <laughs> so this is perfect, isn't it? If you love that kind of nostalgia, but also, I mean, it just, there's a certain personality here, right? So let's talk about the bangs, five and a half inches. So you can see that's coming down to the hollow of my cheek. Um, and if I put, if I stretch them straight down, of course, they're, they, they go right over the eyes. So I'm definitely going to have to part this one to keep it out of the eyes. And I think it looks just fine with a little bit of a part. Um, the other thing you could do is actually trim in a straight across bang. I mean, it's already sort of a blunt separation anywhere, the, anyway there, it's not feathered in. So you could definitely cut it straight across. And because it's curly, I think it's gonna be a little more forgiving. Now also remember that I talked to you about this cap. There's a little bit of a, a micro lace front, which is just little crescent moon piece of lace front here, and then it's open top, sides, and back. Now that micro lace front to me is just a bit useless, I, I, I think. It may help that hair just lay a little bit more flat to the head. Can you guys see that there? Um, but I found this. I don't know what your thoughts are. Please share if you your opinion on these little micro lace fronts by Ellen Villa. They're not meant to be full lace fronts. They're not meant to give us the look of a full lace front. The problem that I have with these little micro lace fronts is that they don't lie flat. Um, there's not enough of the lace to lie flat. It just kind of crinkles up. And despite kind of stretching it out over my forehead, and it may just be the shape of my own head, but it starts to crinkle up a little bit. In this case, the hair covers up most of it, so I'm not too worried about it, but it does not lie, it does not lie flat for me. So like I said, we're, we're looking at about a 12 inch overall length. There's a big blunt cut edge in the back. Can you imagine dancing? I put, it puts you there, girl. It puts you right there, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so it would look to be heavy, but it's really not. As I explained, very fine, fine, silky, cloud-like texture. Doesn't feel heavy on the head at all. It just weighs a little over three ounces. So it's very, very lightweight. So this is just a big, fun, bouncy crown of retro-inspired curl. Love it. In terms of permatease, you're going to find a substantial amount of permatease, um, especially on the top. But you know what? It does not feel heavy or overdone. Um, I can stick my hand in and go right through the wefts and scratch my scalp. So it's not the kind of permatease that's thickly matted to where, gosh, if you have a little bit of an itch on your scalp, you can't get in there and, and itch it. It's, uh, it's just the right amount. I don't think a lot is needed because there's limited layering and there's a lot of fiber just to create and hold this style without having to have a lot of permatease. So there's no product or anything. I don't think you would need a whole lot.
upstairs and inside look at the cap for Ellen Villa's Disco. Uh, you notice that little bit of a micro lace front that stretches about two inches and goes back maybe a quarter of an inch from the hairline. And then it's a closed uh, rose net top, lots of wefting on this style, a velvet closed ear tab, a lot of fiber spliced into that ear tab. Uh, there's an extended velvet nape and Velcro style adjusters. What you need to know is that uh, this style, I believe, is average right out of the box. I had to cinch it in as far as it could go to accommodate a petite average circumference. So just be aware that this cap is not a petite average like so many other Ellen Villa styles. So now let's talk styling for disco. As you know, I haven't done anything to this one right out of the box. So let's see what we can do. I'll just mess with it a little bit so that you can see how it moves and reacts. Just get a real good idea of how it's going to respond for you. Let's try, since we have a nice retro inspired, inspired hair, let's try for a retro inspired reader glasses style here. <laughs> um, glasses fit beautifully, between, I'm distracted by <laughs> all of this is going on here with the retro. Um, these are called the Beatrix uh, glasses by readers.com, by the way, and I'll leave links below. Um, but they fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab, and these particular glasses have a nice thick arm, so glasses are not going to be a problem. They fit comfortably between the ear and the ear tab on this style. Thanks so much for joining me for a fun look at the new disco by Ellen Villa in the color Champagne Rooted. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.